That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. Please do not I'm tell me. To sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. Is that it? And then I drank one. Is that it? One sip. Pump them numbers up, buddy. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video. Okay? Yet. Did somebody drug you? I remember. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan <laughs> Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Wan is wan. You can't say no to that. Oh god, Nathan, Nathan Prescott. Prescott. I don't even know what options I'm picking he half the time. Nice for a change when he offered to help me. Lovely. It's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white. And Kate in the dark oh, room. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan. I just take whatever. Alcohol is alcohol. You can't say no to that. And. 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. She's lying. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. Interrogate her. Put a gun words, to her head. But I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being. I vouch for that, actually. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. Very serious. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. I don't think your church would worry. I think they'd probably enjoy I'll themselves later, too okay. much watching that video. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Is that it? You're done talking to me because I'm done talking to you. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Matthew 11:28. I know that's one of her favorite quotes. I need to know all this. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. So it's Kate and Kate twins. Lovely. I know who would enjoy that very much. Kate really has a doting father. Don't mind me, Kate. I'm just going. Oh, a rabbit! That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mom. Of course, because I'm a nice person. Sometimes. She's more likable than Chloe any day. Left out amnation. Bitch, you don't know me much. Oh damn. I like how everyone just knows about this tip and then there's me who's like, where can I watch this? So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. I'll try not so to be. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He could have done both. Should I go Did you ever think of that? Well, you could go to a place and be called a mad woman with that haircut. So I'll probably say no. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. The no, cops will probably just like, you know, enjoy themselves don't too. To hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? Yes. I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. I deal with it.
Don't get a moody bitch from me. You're the one who asks me for advice. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Moody bitch. Can I leave? Thank you. Alright, if you really want it, you're a viral slut. Oh, someone wants me. Max, food, two whales, see you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast! <laughs> no emoji! <laughs> Alright, the bitch doesn't like emojis. No balls allowed. Alright. Oh, hi, Brooke. Hey Brooke. Oh, hi Max. Please, I'm always nice to you. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I she, can't tell. She's always wearing the same jump all the time. Since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Oh no, I haven't talked to Cutie yet. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. See ya, Star Wars girl. Oh, what's in the bin? Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. She does not wear the same outfit all the time. Look, she's wearing a different shirt. She wears the same jacket, but... She might have multiple of the same jacket. You never know. Can't be worse than Lara. She wears the same outfit all the time. Oh, who wakes up this early? I know I bloody can't. Oh, hi Sam. Ah, there's Samuel up early. Sam. Sam. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I like how the animals just love him. Why the hell am I talking to him? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Oh, can you now? What animals do you see in the forest? <laughs> I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh. That's your spirit animal. Is it? Not weird there, except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. What do I know? Leave her alone, you bastards! Leave her alone. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Why does he talk in the third person? That's just. Not normal. Of course you will. I don't think I've ever met anyone who speaks in the third person. Right, is there anything I can tamper with in here again? I definitely won't play with this thing again. When, can I rob the axe? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. I only want the axe. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? If you speak in third person, I will completely just I've never seen Samuel murder Rachel. you. And what's with this other crap? You just won't live anymore if you speak to me in third person. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. What Sorry, do you know about Rachel? Now, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. 
I said sorry for prying. God knows, get bitchy at me. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found, like you, that's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. If he mentions Wes Squirrel one more time, I'm going to go insane. Like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Why does he have to keep saying squirrel, squirrel, squirrel? Jasmine's saying. Shit. The window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. Oh, wow. One little thing changed the course of that window's life. I wonder whose window it belongs to. Rachel is the me money. Pay up, bitch. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, and she's Taylor. actually a nice person you alone. To me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria. Cause I'm a nice person. Talk to I me, don't bitch. I want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Then Kate should just turn it into a, a nice thing. Like, yay, I just had sex. Yay. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. Oh, wow. She's one of the best friends you could have. A bossy best friend. I guess I've had mean bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Ooh. Let's use that information against her, because I'm nice. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Cause you love me. <laughs> I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. I'm bloody not glad I talked to this bitch. I don't even like her. Oh god. Blue Miss Windy wants to talk to me. Oh no, not here. Oh, I didn't even see him there. Wrong part. Meow. Very cute. Warren is out and about already too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Waiting for me. Take me. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You are. You definitely You're a real are. Everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, yep. she's pretty punk rock. That sounds like me as well. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the Not question, really. Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um... Oh fuck! I'll just tell the I truth. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking That's why I love Warren. That driving is having a '70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape. Oh yes, let's. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school apes. Get yeah, asked to the cinema. Told you, I can't say no. Cool, I'll text you the info. Even in a game, I have to say yes. Alright, where's the game taking me now? 
Oh, going to the diner, I think. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Oh, fuck. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. <gasps> Don't be mean to Warren. What's he ever done to you? I like how the bus is empty, pretty much. Up oh, the man. Oh, he's cute. Oh, we get to listen to the flying nuns theme again. No, I didn't. Did I just miss it? What was he wearing? I'll probably see it again, but what was he wearing? Warren, yeah, he was. It was a cute shirt. Nothing wrong with a cat shirt. I like how the bus started off empty and now there's like loads of people on it. Oh hey Jeffrey, it's alright. Welcome to the stream. Still pretty much at the beginning of the episode anywhere. Oh yeah, there wasn't, was they? <laughs> but still, I can see myself wearing that shirt. Meow. God, just hit my earphones out and already people are bitching at one another. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I want to rob your lottery ticket. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Are you for the bus or bitch pushing past me? God, it's probably not even a winning ticket anywhere. Oh, hello. She looks busy and stressed. She looks like Joyce. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Rip. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. Can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Well, Where you could get a car, you know. I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, well, I, I can't say you. anything. I can't even drive yet. <laughs> oh, why does Chloe want me now? Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Oh, she's bitching at me that I wasn't hurrying up. Now she's not even here. So needy. I don't know why I'm exploring everywhere. I just have to. Oh, I remember this RV. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Ignoring my sexy advice. How dare you, Frank? How dare you? Oh, hello. Haven't you grown? Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Cute. I want a dog just like that. It's so cute. Oh, hello, fisherman. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay. Oh, isn't there like an issue with fish or something? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. 
You, King of the Harbour. Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. You have your own boat? They call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Sounds like Prescott, all right. Can't we like just shoot them all? They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. If I do that, I'll jump off a bridge. That just cringe. Prescott Bay. Who would name it that? They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but and it's not a smell that I want to Happy smell fishing, either. Right? Happy fishing. Yet there's no fish. Hello, how do you do? How do you do? I remember that saying. No, I want to take a photo of it, thank you. How do you do? Do people even say that anymore? How do you do? I'm obsessed with it now. Alright, I don't want to go in just yet. What do you These want? Are going to be retro soon. Oh, he's cute. Excuse me. It's just gonna be another stream where I'm telling everyone's cute again. The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. All right, someone woke up on the wrong side of a bed again. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia. Yeah, Bay definitely. Is Probably not a few years, but in a few days. Or about missing girls. Excuse me. You mean Rachel Amber? You don't even know that her. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? I like how everyone who lives in Arcadia Bay bitches about it, but I would love to live in a place like Arcadia Bay. It's just so relaxing. Oh, it's my favorite woman. Poor woman. I hope there's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Why, it's yes I am. Of Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell. Why not? And uh, the tornado is not an excuse. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. Now's a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. Yeah, I agree with you there. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I don't mind on the size of a town. As long as the town's actually a nice place to live. And I'll enjoy it. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Probably hasn't even changed that much, I'm guessing. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Oh. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? <laughs> I hate the sun. You're not even interested in gaming anymore. Homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. <laughs> so why would you want a game stop? I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's been threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not for law. Hell, they own your school, <laughs> Blackwell, almost. So what games have you been actually been buying recently then? Because you stopped following Tomb Raider pretty much. You find Resident 7 boring? Am I missing something? 
Take a picture of a dog's ass, because why not? Oh, washing machine. Can I take one to go? Oh, sweet. I would say on PC or PS1, but I think I pretty much already know what console you're playing it on. Because someone can't afford a decent PC yet. Damn, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful Sir, day! PS1 oh, then. Yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, day. Oh yeah, I saw you online on the PS3 the other day. <laughs> Using the PlayStation Store, was you downloading it or something? Doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Kate Marsh, love you, long time. Flush before pissing on floor. <laughs> can't even read what that says. Can't even read that writing. Rachel owes me a blur job. So does your mom. Gross. <laughs> firewalk with me. Oh, firewalk! That's before the storm. Never knew that before. Now it's all making sense. Acadia Gay sucks deck. No, it says Acadia Bay. Oh my god. Or is that a G? I don't even know. I could never play Tomb Raider 1 with. I could never play any PS1 games on power again. How do you cope? Ew. That guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Alright, God. Oh, hello. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Yeah, well, I switched to the American games now. 30 frames per second. Brilliant. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Because no one likes Madsen. Hello, Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I'm just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. How well do you With how popular this diner is, you'd think that Joyce would have a lot more money. Take care of this place like it's our Whoops. Kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. I am not the pot dealer, I promise, of I could be. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, Don't be threatening me, bitch. I'll go near Chloe if I wish. Is she a friend of yours? Um, yeah, I say she's a good friend of mine. Then you know she's a handful. Definitely. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Because it's just a massive dick and I wish everyone would just stay away from him. But apart from that, I'm just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. God, with America, guns and police officer, Madsen wouldn't last long. Exactly he, he would just probably gun everyone. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. 
I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. But it's Frank. Oh, it's Don't hit on Frank. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I'm guessing guns is your trigger word. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. All right. Eat it faster then. You have such a romantic life. Always on the road. So what would I say if I said reboot his life, reboot his number one, fuck the classics. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Well, excuse me. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. You're rude, bitch. D Joyce this rude. Joyce. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. Since when did I, I propose? See you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. 